Hello, young adults. I am Jeremy Satterwhite, president of the 65th School District with Shaw Young Adult Council. It is a joy to greet you all during this Advent season. And during this Advent season, we will have some of our very own uh, come to us each week and bring words of encouragement. It is important during this season that we all remain encouraged. So happy holidays and my brother and my sister, be encouraged. Hello, my name is John Young and I am so excited to greet you in this Advent season as the RAAC of the 6th Episcopal District launch out in its Advent series with its first meditation on this Monday entitled, Is There Any Hope? Habakkuk 1.1 1, 1 declares, Lord, how long will I call for help and you will not listen? I cry out to you violence, but you don't deliver us. It might seem like a strange place to begin a lament, but the prophet here is wise to begin with lament because as we begin this season of waiting, as we enter this season when there is where there is so much to do, we can find ourselves busy just trying to keep up with all that's going on around us to keep from feeling the pain that is going on within us. But as we're in this period of waiting, that's what Advent means. It means to wait. It means to long. It is an act of courage to take a look at what's going on around us and be able to stay awake. Lament means simply, I am awake. I see the real impact. I see the real picture. I see what is happening around me. Lament means I'm not afraid to cry out to God. Can you feel it? Do you carry this prophetic question in your bones as you face the vicissitudes of life? What do you see? see in the world that causes you to lament and we're simply asking God hear our prayers. Advent begins with lament because our lament addresses what is going on in the world around us. Our lament tells the truth about the growing gap between what is right and just in the world we live in because the prophet cries out to God and God promises goodness and mercy. God promises beauty and wholeness. God promises justice and sometimes justice is even broken but God still promises. So we begin Advent lament with the lament because we are paying attention. We see with our own eyes what isn't yet right and this creates a deep sense of a discomfort, a dissonance within us that draws us into the Advent season, a season of waiting, a season of longing. For if we aren't awake, we can't grieve and if we aren't comfortable, then we don't know what we're waiting for. But finally, if we didn't have any hope, we couldn't cry out to God. And so as we lament during this Advent season, it's a sign of our hope. The hope, the knowing that, God, we know things aren't right. Things may not look right. Things may not feel right. But, God, we know that you're on the way. Because God says in his word, there is still a vision for the appointed time. It testifies to the end. It does not deceive. If it is delayed, beloved, just wait for it. For it will surely come. It will not be late. It is in our lament. It is in our waiting. It is in the face of painful realities that God promises again and again, I am coming. I will not be late. Emmanuel, God with us. God is coming. Can you feel it? Do you carry this prophetic longing in your bones as you embark on this Advent journey? So I asked a simple question like I begun with. Is there any hope? Pray this prayer with me. God of our hopeful expectations, you sent prophets to prepare the way. So Father, in this season of Advent, give us ears to their call to repentance, that we may wait with hope for the coming Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And the people of God declare together, amen. This is Pastor John telling you thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of our Advent series. We look forward to seeing you again on next week. All God's best.